Welcome to VTTV News. I'm Samantha Amaral. And I'm Jay Silva. Rachel's Challenge is a club here at GNBVT, which started in 2013. The club is founded on words from 17-year-old Rachel Joy Scott, who was one of the first students killed in the 1999 shootings at Columbine High School. Before her death, she wrote, I have this theory, if one person can go out of their way to show compassion, then it'll start a chain reaction. Since her death, her parents issued a challenge. Start a chain reaction of kindness. The goal of this club is to accept the challenge. They spread kindness and compassion to students, faculty, and staff in order to create a more welcoming, loving, and safe environment. The club is responsible for many of the great things that happen at the school. For example, they have been running the Roses for Seniors for two years. While COVID-19 was on the rise, the club created signs applauding our school nurses. They hung them around the nurse's office to surprise the nurses the next day. They pass Rachel's challenge to everyone every day. The college fair took place within the field house in October. The fair was for those of our college going students. Colleges such as Mass Maritime, Bridgewater State, New England Tech, and many other colleges were there to inform and answer any questions the students may have had. During the college fair, colleges had their own booth set up across the field house advertising their respective college. Students who attended the college fair walked around from booth to booth, learning about colleges that piqued their interests from admission counselors. The information provided to students was information regarding the campus, certificates, upcoming events, application deadlines, along with other information. Students left with brochures, business cards, and other items from the booths. The college fair was an excellent opportunity for college-bound students. The Gender Sexuality Alliance Club kicked off this year on National Coming Out Day, where members had the option to come out for the first time or to re-come out to build support and comfort in the community. GSA is a student organization that works to provide a safe and supportive environment for LGBTQ youth and their straight allies. The club participates in nationally recognized days and campaigns to help raise awareness such as Day of Silence, No Name Calling Week, and Transgender Awareness Day. There is a lot in store for this year in Folk Tech's GSA with holiday activities, national day events, and more. The GSA club is open to everyone and meets in room B238 every Wednesday from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. GSA is planning on having a strong and fun year to strengthen our LGBTQIA community. The homecoming dance happened at the end of October. This event allowed students all over the school to meet up, make new friends, and celebrate the new school year. This homecoming was packed with things to do, such as dancing to DJ Borges' hit tracks, cornhole, and even announcing the King and Queen for homecoming. Tickets to this homecoming were $5 for students, and funds go toward GNBVT Spirit Account, led by Mr. Mepia and the Student and Guidance Council. The annual Spirit Days are back in full swing. Those days included Character Day, Green and Gold Day, Halloween, and Disco Day. The school community participated in these days in their own special ways. Students, faculty, and staff were encouraged to wear outfits based on these themes to have a little bit of fun. The first Spirit Day was Character Day, where students dressed up as their favorite character from a movie, show, or book. During Green and Gold Day, the school community showed up wearing green and gold to support the Bears as they battled it out at the homecoming game. For Halloween Day, students, faculty, and staff expressed their creativity and wore Halloween costumes. No costume, no problem. People wore orange and black instead of a costume. Lastly, Disco Day brought out the best dance moves and costumes that sparkled through the 70s. We were impressed by everyone's costumes, and the faculty and staff and students blew us out of the water. Thank you for watching VTTV News. Tune in next time.